Hello. It's good to see you. Today, we are going to be uh, preparing some stockings for three of the Angel Tree Kids. We're going to do the stockings for the first three. I haven't really bought anything yet for the stocking for the fourth angel that we just adopted a couple days ago. I have um, finished, I think I finished her shopping. She really wanted some Nike stuff. So we got her some Nike stuff. <laughs> some of it is coming from Amazon and it's not here yet, but I have some of it, but we're not doing that tonight. Now, Walter is my Christmas frog. See? Walter is my supervisor. He's going to make sure, he's going to make sure that we do the stockings right. You're going to see here that I have a bag of chocolates. We have Hershey's miniatures. They have a nice little Christmas theme to them. They have a little Christmas wrapping. And we also have an assortment here of candies. We have Lifesavers gummies, Skittles gummies, Starburst, Snickers, and Twix bars. And I thought I would just take these and just kind of distribute them for the three stockings. And I have some sweet tarts, candy canes. Yummy. So we're going to put a little bit of each of these into the three stockings as we go. I'm just going to kind of try to divvy it up. Now for these three angels, we have two that are brother and sister. And one is just a single child with uh, no siblings participating. Or they may just not have any siblings. So, we'll, we'll do some candies for everybody. And this has nothing to do with anything, but I just wanted to show you these socks. I picked up these socks today at Aldi, and I thought they were so cute. Look, they have bears on them. These were on the Isle of Shame. They just put them out today, and they have little brown bears on them. They're little uh, ladies' cabin socks, and I just thought they were adorable, and I wanted to show you my little bear socks. They're very nice and soft and I think they would be very warm. They don't have anything to do with anything. I just thought they were adorable. Look at the little, little bears on there. I just had to share. Oh, and I'm, I'm going to do a video showing you my Christmas trees when I get to it, but um, as I mentioned in the, the video where I was showing you my ornaments, I never found my, I bought a bunch of Lord of the Rings themed ornaments and they were up in my attic and I cannot find them. I've gone through everything up there and I can't find them. And I've looked everywhere that I thought they could be and they're just nowhere. So anyway, I bought some more ornaments. I bought, this is a set that I bought previously, but I can't find it. Um, I bought these on eBay. Check it out. You get, you get Smeagol and you get this little dude. There's the eye. This has Elvish on it. Look at that. There's Smeagol again. Look at that. I thought this was cool, and I'm going to put them on my tree along with some other Lord of the Rings ornaments that I purchased last week. So you'll get to see these um, when I show you my trees. I have two Christmas trees. I'm going to show them to you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up these packages, and we're going to start with the five-year-old's stocking. Okay, I have so many fun little things to show you. Now, I'll tell you, first of all, um, for the stockings that I do for the Angel Tree children, they're not required. They, they aren't even expected. It's just, it's a little thing that I like to do, just a little bonus thing for the kids. I don't put a bunch of expensive stuff in there. It's mostly just inexpensive little things that I thought they might like. And here I have the stocking. This is the stocking for the five-year-old. Um, I didn't have good choices for the stockings this year. I just went to Dollar Tree to see what kind of stockings they had. They didn't really have many to choose from. They only had three or four different types, like styles of stockings. But I do know for the five-year-old that her favorite color is pink. So I saw this and I thought, oh, that'll be okay tell you why I like doing stockings so much. When I was a kid, we, we didn't get a lot for Christmas, but we would always have our stockings waiting for us sitting on the couch in the living room. And, and my brother and I, we could go in there and open our stockings before our parents got up. We were allowed to do that, but we couldn't touch the presents. 
until we could go wake them up at 7 a.m but not before that but if we woke up early we could go get our stockings and open them and we had stockings kind of like this one just made out of this thin thin kind of material like flannel or something and it had uh, candy stripes on it like red and white stripes and up here at this part up here was white it was just plain and my mom had put glue on it and then with green glitter, she she took glue and spelled out our names. Each one of us had a stocking, and she would use green glitter to fill it in. So mine had Mary across here. And so it was about the size of this stocking. And it was always just little stuff. It was never anything, you know, crazy. But it was always so fun, and I was so, always so excited to open my stocking and see what was in there. Usually it would be, you know, a few pieces of candy or just a little toy or you know, maybe a slinky or, you know, it would just be little stuff, you know, but I really enjoyed opening my stocking. It was one of my favorite things. So I always looked forward to it and it wasn't because it had, you know, expensive stuff and it. it was just fun. So I thought I would do that for the Angel Tree Kids so they, um, maybe they might enjoy it too. So you want to consider the size of your stocking when you're purchasing items to fill it. You need to make sure you have enough room in there for your items. Hopefully we can fit it. You know, we have here, this is her. I took all the candy and I laid it out and I divided it up by three. So they roughly all have the same stuff. So we have our little Twix bars, gummies, Starburst. So this is the candy. And candy is really good for filling up any loose space in the stocking. So we'll get to do that for three Angel Tree Kids today. Now looking at it here, we have this little piece of paper that's attached. Let me just take some scissors and cut that. Being careful not to cut the stocking, of course. Let's get those little, little pieces out of the way. They don't want that. Oh, we have a little, a little loop here. If you want to hang it, you can. My mom didn't hang ours because we didn't have anything to hang it from. We didn't have a fireplace or anything. Um, so she would just fill the stockings and then set them on the couch. So they were always sitting there when we got up. So we have our little, little paper board. Take that out. Now it's all ready. It's all ready to be filled. So let's take a look at the items that we have here. Now most of this stuff came from Dollar Tree. It's just little things I walked around and looked at and thought that she might like. We have a magic crystal ball. Reveal your fate. Now this did come from Dollar Tree, so I don't have a lot of confidence in it. It may tell her, who knows what it's gonna tell her. Touch the base of the magic crystal ball to reveal an answer to help guide you on your path to finding happiness. First, we want to check and see if it needs batteries. Battery cover. Oh, it actually does. I'm going to go grab, it takes three AAA batteries, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I have three Amazon Basics batteries. These are great. I use these myself. And I have my little tape dispenser that doesn't hold when you clip it to stuff, so it's kind of awful. I'm going to take these, and I think... I will just tape them to the bottom of the box. That may not be ideal, but that's what I'm doing. That way the tape is not covering up any of the text on the box. So we have this here. I found a cute little bear. Look at this little plush bear. He has blue and silver sparkly ears. A little plush. He's very soft and very small. Oh look, he has a little bell embroidered on his little foot. And he has sparkles on his other foot. He's just a cute little bear. Um, 
Oh, I, I always think these are so fun. My kids loved these when they were little, these little magic towels. And she loves Disney princesses. And I found a Disney princess magic towel at uh, Dollar Tree. So I picked up, I went through all the magic towels until I found, I found one. <laughs> and I got it. So she has, have you ever done these? They're so fun. My kids used to love these. And we had quite a few of these in our uh, washcloth stash in the bathroom for years. These horrible, scratchy washcloths. My kids loved them, though. This is all they would use to take their bath. They wanted to use their little magic towels to take a bath. They, they quietly went away as my kids got older. <laughs> okay. We also have Blow Pops Minis. Now these are cherry and sour apple flavor with a resealable pouch. So they don't have sticks. It's a Blow Pop with no stick. So it's just a little packet of uh, Charms Blow Pops Minis. So put that in there. And I bought her this pen. Look, it's like a diamond. To me, it reminds me of like a magic wand. It's a pen. See, we have a little cap on the end of it. See, it's just a little ink pen. Ballpoint pen. They have these in different colors at Dollar Tree. And it matches my shirt. <laughs> so she has a fancy pen. Oh, and several people mentioned that I should get... Um, magic markers to go with the five-year-old stuff and crayons to go with the eight-year-old stuff. I am going to do that. I don't have them yet, but I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for a couple of things for the five-year-old, so I'm, I'm not going to drop their stuff off yet. So in the meantime, I will go pick up some magic markers and crayons for them. I am going to do that, although I don't have them right now. I am going to do that, so don't worry. We also have a pair of small little Snugadoo gloves, and if you've ever tried these gloves, they are so stretchy. They are wonderful, but they are kid size. It says here that they're kid size. Feel the softness. Try it on. So you can actually slip your hand in there and try it on if you want to. I'm not going to do that. But they have these gloves in all different sizes and colors at Dollar Tree, and they're wonderful. And they're inexpensive, so when your kid inevitably loses at least one of these gloves, it won't be quite so bad. Because <laughs> my kids have had so many pairs of these things. Oh my gosh. Oh, and guess what else I found? I found a pen. This is an eight-color pen from The Little Mermaid. Look, we have all these pretty colors on the pen. And it's from Disney's The Little Mermaid. I used to love these pens when I was little, the multicolored pens, you know, it's like magic. My dad used to buy the ones, I think Bic made them, and they had four colors. I think it was red, green, black, and brown, um, black and blue, and I used to think that was just the coolest thing I'd ever seen. <laughs> this one has eight, so it looks like we have orange, red, blue, green, black, purple. We have a lighter blue, and on the back there's a darker blue. We'll put that in there. I also picked up a little packet of stickers. We have these fun little stickers. These look like neon. They're made to look like little neon things, like a neon cheeseburger, a unicorn, cherries, um, and paints, and a paint palette, and a paintbrush. Just a little packet of stickers. And then we have this package of Rainbow Sour Belt Bites. This little chameleon on it. I just kept looking for things that had pink in them. I mean, I know she doesn't really like pink, but I just look for that for her. This bag has a resealable top, so you have these little notches, and you can open it and take out what you like, and then you can just seal it back up so it doesn't dry out, which is wonderful. If they ever start doing that with the bags that cereal comes in, I will be so incredibly happy. Because why are there not zipper seals on those bags? For what you pay for a box of cereal these days, there should be. Oh, it irritates me. 
And then, in the toy aisle, I found some Disney princesses. Now, I only found three. It looks like there might only be four total. I found Snow White. I think that's Snow White. Well, it looks like, yeah, and maybe we just have these four. So I found, it's like a little keychain. You see it has a little red keychain on the back? Yeah, we have four. Oh man, they had Ariel, but I didn't see that one. Cinderella, Tinkerbell, Snow White, and Ariel. So this one is Snow White here. Oh, I did find Ariel, duh, okay. <laughs> I found Ariel, so we have a little Ariel. And Cinderella, so I guess Tinkerbell was the only one I did not find. So they had these little things at uh, Dollar Tree. They didn't have all four, but I was able to get three. So what I'm thinking, the best way to put stuff in here, I start by trying to fill the toe of the stocking down here first. Probably the best way to do that is with the candy and the magic towel. I want to have her candy canes too. We'll get those down in there as well. There was one odd piece of candy left over. I um, I might have taken care of that one. shake it down into the toe just like that. Okay, then let's do the princesses next. I like to leave the top for the larger things. This, the gloves, the pen, minis. These stickers, I want to put them in there where they don't get wrinkled. So I'm going to put them right up against the side. There. Got my candy canes. Normally I would hang them over the side, but this is being transported, so I don't want to do that. crystal wall with batteries and our bear no I can't <laughs> I don't want to cram him in there he'll be hurt the beautiful thing about these bears though is that they're very compactable let's see how limber are you Mr. Bear you've been doing your yoga you do a downward dog <laughs> can you ball up for me alright Cannonball! Alright, I have lovingly squished the bear in there. He's totally fine, by the way. He's good. So we have our stocking. That's for the eight-year-old. We have the stocking here for our five-year-old. And everything fit in there. Look at all that stuff. Oh my goodness. I really hope she enjoys getting to see all of these fun things. Oh my goodness. And of course I will put her name, or not her name, but her number. Each kid has a number. I'll put her number on here. And I also include a detailed list of all the presents for each child. And I also mention the stocking. So I'm gonna put this away. I will start on her brother's stocking. Okay, now we have everything ready for the eight-year-old stocking. And this is the stocking that I picked for him. 
I don't think it would have been my first choice, but they, like I was saying, they didn't really have a lot of different types of stockings to pick from. But that's okay. We have a fun little penguin. Look, he's holding a little present. It's the scratchy metallic stuff. And he has this little scarf. Oh my goodness. So we're just going to remove this tag. inside. Take that out. Now this stocking is basically the same size as the pink one. And the back is just plain as you can see. This is just a fun little thing to do for a kid or an adult or whoever. I mean who doesn't like getting a stocking full of gifts? Even little stuff. I think anybody would enjoy it. So what do we have? Again, we have our bunch of candy. We have his ration of candy here. We also have a pair of Snugadoo gloves for him. And now they look tiny, but they are incredibly stretchy. And they're very soft and warm. Now he may not like gloves. Some kids don't like gloves. Honestly, I was, I'm kind of one of those people. I, I have gloves, but I almost never wear them. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes I think they make my hands feel colder. So these are Snugadoo gloves for kids. Yeah, so we've got them in that. He also gets a magic towel. I found him a Spongebob magic towel. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he likes race cars. And I tried to find like a Hot Wheels or, you know, something. I didn't really see anything that I thought he would like, but... Most kids like Spongebob, so I got a little <laughs> Spongebob magic towel. Now, if you're not a familiar with the magic towels, it's so neat. It's a very small, very thin, very scratchy washcloth. <laughs> and it's compacted in here in a little circle. So what you do is you take it out of the plastic and you drop it in water and it just expands like magic. It's truly magical. And my kids always loved getting these at the dollar store when they were little and taking them home. And then when they had their bath, they would get to see what their washcloth looked like. Because <laughs> you don't know until you put it in the water what it's going to look like. Sometimes it's this picture, but sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's something totally different. It may not even be Spongebob. <laughs> I think it was one year we had one that was Transformers, but they opened it up and it was like Spider-Man or something. <laughs> I don't know. So you just never know what it's going to be. Also for him, I found this at Dollar Tree as well. We have a catapult. It's a catapult that shoots out these little plastic cats. You're going to get one catapult, three cats, and one mat. The catapult even has wheels on it. Let's see what it says. Use the mini catapult to send the cat soaring through the air and try to land them on the mat to earn as many points as possible. Perfect for helping to pass the time or even creating all-out competitions with your family, friends, and peers. Don't try this. Don't do it with a real cat, but I don't know. I thought this was cute. I found this at Dollar Tree. And we also have some more Blow Pops Minis. It's a Blow Pop with no stick. These are cherry sour apple flavor. You can see we have our little fireplace and somebody blew a big bubble in front of the fireplace. This is a resealable pouch and this is the actual size of the Charms Blow Pop Minis up here. Little tiny. And I have three cars. Look at this cute little car. This is a matchbox car. It's so incredibly tiny. And I never can remember how this is pronounced. Citron, 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 S-I-C-I-T-R-O-E-N. But the E, is that an umlaut over the E? Anyway, it's this cute little car. Look at it. It's impossibly tiny. 
It's so cute. So we have this little car. Not exactly a race car, but I thought it was cool. And look at this. Ooh, we have a Corvette C7 C06 convertible in a beautiful copper color. That's just snazzy. And then finally, we have Baja Blazers. This fun little car. It is a Porsche 928 S Safari. Look at that. Check it out. Yeah, they didn't have a lot to choose from as far as cars go. They didn't have a whole bunch. Um, but that's okay. Okay. And then, of course, we have our candy. So I think we're going to start with filling it again with candy. Do you think they're going to fight over the candy? They'll probably be trading candy back and forth. That's okay. and shake all the candy down into the toe. Okay, now do the magic towel, the snugadoo gloves, the cat apult, blue pops minis, then we have our cars. We can actually stack these. When I used to put these in my kids' stockings, I would just stack them like this. And then finally, we have our candy canes. And it all fits nice and snug in here in our little penguin stocking and that takes care of the stocking for our eight-year-old okay now we have stuff for the 14 year old now I will be the first to admit I have too much <laughs> there is no way all of this is going in her stocking so what I'm going to do with the stuff that won't fit in her stocking is I'm just going to put it in a gift box and wrap it and just leave it like that. But a lot of this is not stuff that I went out and bought specifically for her stocking. We have some cosmetics and items here from some of the beauty boxes I'm going to um, give to her. They're not open, they're not used, they're okay. But this is the stocking I picked for her. I love it because it's sparkly and has this beautiful, it's like a red velvet to it. And they have these at Dollar Tree, and they're so beautiful. Look at how pretty that is, the little snowflakes. I love it. So again, we have to remove the little, the tag up here. This top part is sort of fluffy. It's really soft. I love it. Okay, and the paper inside too. So they keep this in there to keep it nice and flat, keeps it from getting crushed. Okay, so what do we have to go in here? Well, of course, we have the a third of the candy. And we have, again, some mini blow pops, cherry sour apple. And they're just a little blow pop with no stick, resealable pouch. So we have that. And here we have a bubble that somebody's blown on top of a um, chimney. Look at the chimney top up there. We have another magic crystal ball. 
And of course, we're going to need batteries for this one too. And I have batteries for this one too. We have our Amazon batteries again. I have so many of these. I buy them in bulk. Okay. they need for the crystal ball. They have these beautiful stretchy adult size gloves here from Juncture. These are also from Dollar Tree. Look how shiny they are. And black is her favorite color and these are silver and black. They're really nice. Okay. I have the Sienza red velvet cosmetic bag. It doesn't have anything in it. But I don't care that. It's, it's new. I never used it. And we have these pens. Look at these are color scents. Scented felt tip pens. We have one here in black and one in kind of a fuchsia. It's about the same color as my top. So we have those. We also have them in red and green. Some scented pens. And she didn't want skincare products, so here we have Yensa Pumpkin Turmeric. It's a two-in-one radiance polishing mask. Eight super orange essence. Yep. And since we got her a flat iron and a curling iron, someone recommended that I get some heat protection spray for the hair. So I picked up this Tresemme Protecting Heat uh, Heat Protection Spray. Here, and it does have a lock on the thing so it won't spray. And I don't know how much of this we're going to get in the stocking, but again, whatever won't fit, I will just put in a box and it'll be good. Now this is something that I have because I recently bought another bottle of Dolly perfume, but it came in a little gift set and it came with this um, body mist. This is brand new, never used, I promise. Scent from above, S-C-E-N-T. I'm going to give her that too, because it came in the little set that I just wanted the perfume. But that came with it, so I give her that. And I picked this up today. I saw this in Aldi and I thought it was so cute. It's a Burt's Bees little set. You have a little a hair tie. So you could hang it from the tree if you want. You get some lip balm and some hand salve and here in a little metal tin so it's just a little a little packet of goodies from Burt's Bees I bought one for this 15 year old too and I have some detangler from Unite we have some more candy we have a rainbow sour cream filled Bites, and we have a lot of dinosaurs. And this container is also resealable. It says it's made with fruit juice, so it's like super healthy and stuff. I'm kidding. We have more cosmetics. We have this Tarte lip cream right here. And we have a clear brow gel from Wing, Wing Me. Dark Dimension Dual Tip Liquid Liner from Love Craft Beauty. Um, and this was that product where I couldn't read the name. <laughs> I've already forgotten. Reina Rebelled. Reina Rebelled. Oh, it's a lip, a lip product. And we have Double Dipper, Half Caped. It's a color duo. And we have a Yensa Skin on Skin Beauty Sponge. And a little trial container of Super Multi Corrective Soft Cream. And finally, I have Pink Lips. It's a lip tint right here. So I know it's a lot, but this is stuff from the beauty boxes that. I 
wanted to give her. It's I haven't used it. It's all new. Okay. So like with the other two stockings, I think I'm going to start with the candy down in the toe. all down in there. The only bad thing about this stocking is it gets glitter everywhere. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's get some of these little small things. These can go. Oh, did I show you the pins? I have two pins for her. We have one with a like a blue rhinestone on the top and it has little sparkles in it up here and this big long pin with like a disco ball on the end of it and they have a little, co has a little cover on it this one does not this one is retractable it's little fun pins I'm actually, now that I see how much glitter's coming off here, I'm actually going to spray it with a light coat of craft spray before I take it anywhere. That will help seal some of the uh, glitter. It's a little too late for my table, and I'm going to have to go over this with a lint brush, but I will put that in a separate thing after I clean the glitter off of it. Yeah, I got glitter all over. I will spray it lightly with some craft spray to help prevent the glitter drop. I did get quite a bit in there, so what I will do on my own, um, I'm going to take everything else here and the little candy canes. And all of this is going to go in its own box that I'm going to wrap for her. And we have all the goodies in the stocking, too. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed getting to see these three stockings today. And there's nothing, you know, crazy in any of these. But it's just little stuff that I thought they might like to get in a stocking for Christmas. Thank you so much for being here. I really hope that you have a wonderful day, and I will see you again really soon.